Nice Austin voice you have there. Yeah, I tried. <laughs> okay. So we got we're going into this uh, game one Dill versus Black Sheep. And this is a matchup I actually think and feel strongly that it's very possible for Pikachu. Yeah, Pikachu is super good. Versus Sheik, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, however, Black Sheep, uh, you know, is just picking up this character, you know, character still in the oven, still rising, you know. So, uh, what we're gonna see is, I'm pretty sure there are areas that he, that he has already strong, like, strongly developed, mm -hmm. but it's those tightening situations, like, you know, how to get the kill on a Sheik that doesn't want to get touched. Yep. That's probably gonna show here in this match, but we'll see. We'll see if uh, Black Sheep has those setups for right now. Yeah, like, I, I remember just a few uh, a few weeks ago, maybe about a month now, like, when uh, Black Sheep was over at a session. It's like, he's like, literally day three Pikachu. So it's had some time, you know. So far he's hanging in there with New York City's best Sheep player, Dill. Yeah. So then I gotta give, already just middle of the... Tail end of the first arc, I gotta give Black Sheep props for just hanging in there. Yeah, Black Sheep right now, keeping the percents pretty equal, and this is a good thing for Pikachu because the one thing that Sheik lacks, you know, provided, you know, uh, doesn't make the right read or anything, she ha she doesn't have that much kill power, you know? Yeah. You can't just, like, throw anything out. It's only be off of the throws or something off of, like, a read or anything. Yeah. Pikachu, fast. Yes. And she, Pikachu gets to throw out moves uh, that, uh, basically force the Sheik player to respect, so, you know, Pikachu gets to... Ooh, okay. Okay, I didn't expect that to happen. Yeah. But yeah, like, that that's an advantage you get to, uh, you get to uh, utilize is when you have a character that can just throw out moves and say, hey, like, I don't just have to commit to one thing and then you get to punish me. Mm -hmm. Pikachu can just do, like, up tilt, down tilt, spot dodge, you know, have, force the Sheik to play a little bit faster. Plus, uh, Pikachu's very small, so, you know, Sheik usually, like, has to be a little bit, uh, pretty, pretty pinpoint precise for, like, doing everything with her movement and everything, so, having to hit Pikachu's like, oh, let's make this a little bit more difficult. I gotta be Not a little a bit body. closer, yeah. a little bit more precise. Mm -hmm. Looking at dash grab, so again, this match just quickly escaped his grasp. Yeah, this is, like, one of the situations you don't want to be, like, being down the stock is bad enough, but being down the stock versus Sheik is so difficult because she's so fast, you know? If, if you can get that, uh, if you can get that first kill on her, then you, you are in an immense lead because of the, yeah. the lack of kill power she has and no rage and stuff. But this is such a bad position. It's so good, but see, what did I, mm -hmm. what, what did I call about Black Sheep speaking to the beginning of the match. There's gonna be some things that he's gonna have down packed, which was his neutral game, because mm -hmm. he was hanging in there, but he was gonna have a hard time landing the kill. That's exactly what I called, and that's exactly what happened. Yep. Because the first stock, he hung, he hung in there, and then once he lost that stock, that was pretty much the end of the match after that, so. Losing the, losing that first stock, especially in uh, you know the two stock system that they're in right now, it's such a psychological thing because it's not only oh I lost my stock, but oh now I'm on my last stock. You know, you got You're getting frazzled. You know, and you're ha and you're forced to approach. Mm -hmm. you, you can't. You no longer get the luxury of hanging back. Or certain characters, like if you're playing Pac-Man, you need to be able to hang back. That's yeah. what Pac-Man loves. But if you're down a stock, you no longer have that luxury nope. because you're just losing time, losing time. Especially the fact that, like, in that sort of matchup, because the match innate, innately would just be slower, you're now down the stock, and the timer's ticking. Yeah, so you gotta get get in there, get your hands dirty, roll up your sleeves, tighten up your bootstraps, and mm -hmm. Pac-Mans typically don't really have that down pack. That's pretty much their weakness. Okay. So let's see if Black Sheep can cover that weakness mm -hmm. from last game. I kind of like this kind of... Oh my oh, god. Oh, that skyscraper Damn. height, bouncing fish, all the way up top in the blast zone. We're lucky those bubbles are there. Otherwise, we wouldn't have even seen what happened. We would have just have to rely on the sound of the moon. <laughs> the double lightning. Word. Lightning strikes twice. Yes, sons. here it does. I was going to say, I mean, and it can still work in this favor, obviously. Because, like, the reason why Black Sheep probably picked this stage is that Pikachu does have quick, quick attack canceling uh, on the stage. On the other side, it just has to be going towards the center. Yeah. So. It's just the way that the, the stage is created. Yeah, For those really of you weird. who don't know, if you're playing on a stage that's like in any way tilted or slanted, it affects the nature of how Pikachu's character interacts if you crash into it with the update. So if it's slanted, you're gonna have faster recovery. Yeah. Oh wow. 
Okay, he's really trying to close out the stock early with that standing up B. Like, Sheik isn't really taking advantage of the quick attack canceling. Maybe he doesn't a little bit, and he just picked the stage as, as a, like, uh, I want to go to Dreamland. That's fine, too. Or the other option is when you know something, but not so much so that it's it's not defaulted into your muscle memory. So when you get put into panic mode of, I'm about to lose a set, you yep. forget, like, those kinds of things. Those yeah, small and that, details. That's, that's what happens when you're picking up a new character. Just forget, like, I know, like, I'm moving to Tilt Stick, right? And if I get frazzled, I, like, if I want to do a smash attack, I'm like, uh -huh. C Stick. I'm like, oh. Nope. Tilt. That, that would have killed. Now I'm dead. No. <laughs> Ooh. All right. All right. He's not going out with, with the double two stock. Yeah, although that I'm not really. Not really too much in favor of this at this point. You know, How could you be, you know? Yeah. He's got that dark uh, represent. Okay. There we go. So Dill takes it with the JV. All things considered, did it do very bad at all? Obviously, game two was a little yeah. bit rougher, but game one, you know, I'm sorry, the other way around. Mm -hmm. Game one was rougher, but game two.